डायरेक्टोरेट हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर सर्विसेज सर्कुलर सब्जेक्ट प्रोटोकॉल्स टू बी फॉलोड इन व्यू ऑफ द एमरजिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन सिचुएशन रिगार्डिंग सो इन व्यू ऑफ द एमरजिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन सिचुएशन इन चाइना यूनाइटेड स्टेट अमेरिका एंड जापान गवर्नमेंट ऑफ India has issued guidelines to enhance the five-fold strategy of test, track, treat, and uh, vaccination, and ensure adherence to COVID-appropriate behavior. The emerging COVID scenario in the state was also reviewed by Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Health Minister. With regard to the above. The following COVID-19 protocol is being issued for compliance henceforth: testing and vaccination. COVID testing is to be enhanced, and in view of this, it is mandated that uh, hospitals shall test all the ILI or SARI cases detected. Number two, testing to all symptomatic should be ensured. especially the symptomatic uh, contacts of positive cases number 3 districts and uh, bbmp shall make available adequate testing teams so that uh, symptomatic testing is not missed out the exercise of uh, 2% random testing of international arrivals at bial Bengaluru and Mangaluru airport shall continue and any further guidelines issued in this regard by GOI shall be followed next point all positive samples bracket c at value greater uh, um, greater 25 would be compulsorily sent for whole genome sequencing Next point: the booster dose vaccination shall be accelerated in line with supplies, so that uh, the coverage shall be improved from existing twenty percent to fifty percent during December two thousand twenty-two to January two thousand twenty-three by organizing vaccination camps at all levels, public and private hospitals preparedness. <clears throat> Number one, district hospitals and government medical college hospitals shall make preparations to reserve a minimal number of isolation beds exclusively for COVID patients. Next point, the healthcare facilities, both public and private, shall remain prepared to manage any surge in COVID nineteen cases. Next point: the clinical preparedness of hospitals at district and taluka level shall be assessed and readied in terms of oxygen supplies, drugs, beds, and manpower. Next point: all district and taluka hospitals have to undertake the dry run of their oxygen infrastructure regularly, preferably once in fifteen days, to ensure oxygen. Sufficiency preparedness. Next point: There shall be compulsory face masking by all doctors and staff at uh, healthcare facilities, including the patients, caretakers, and visitors. Next point: All healthcare staff need to be advised to receive the precautionary dose of vaccination immediately. The state or district health authorities and BBMP health authorities need to. ensure that the above mentioned guidelines are properly communicated and the uh, same shall be monitor uh, for compliance in order to sustain the gains achieved so far in covid-19 prevention and control so this is the strict rules of uh, health and family welfare services so we should follow all the rules without fail because these are very very important for us so we should follow all the protocols regarding covid covid 19 situations this is our responsibility and through this we have supported our government uh, and we have to strictly follow all the rules uh, uh, you know uh, regarding covid 19